bad news. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're in the rain pretty good. Oh, this sucks. Good morning, good morning guys. I'm Pip Performance and welcome to today's video. As you guys can see, if I turn this way, it's pitch black outside. It's five o'clock in the morning. I'm heading up to Farmington, Connecticut. Gonna meet Matt Racer. You saw him in, D in uh, Detail Garages car show. I believe you saw him in another video. But we're gonna go meet him up in uh, Bocatic, Connecticut. And we're gonna go drive there. Uh, this is for Dream Ride. It's a very, very awesome car show. One of the best on the East Coast. I've seen photos from last year and the year before. It's always good. So I wanna go with him this year and I'm gonna go meet him right now. So let's get started. So we have arrived at Dream Ride. Right behind me, I got Lamborghini Countach. Right there, we got the Senna's 720s, six, 600 LTs. It's only like 7.30 and there's just so many people here. You guys can see. But we're gonna check out this Countach real quick. Cause last time I saw one of these was back in Florida. I didn't get a good look at it cause security kicked me out. But what these are, I don't know if these are the US spec front bumpers, but I don't like them. It's like the Chiron. They have like that uh, US spec rear bumper that I gotta have on, but. Whatever, just such a beautiful car. So let's move on to here. So I'm pretty sure McLaren, yeah, McLaren Boston brought down these cars over here. That's the first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven or eight centers? Oh my God. It's 600 LTs. I love this purple. I love the purple 600 LT MSO package. I think, yeah, MSO. Stunning. And the McLaren GT that they brought down from the Cars and Coffee from the other day as well. Look at the size of this rear wing. That's insane. Plus, I love this rear exit exhaust. It's carbon fiber. The whole body moving to the sun. Carbon fiber weave on that. That's just so nice. Oh, and that interior is beautiful. Love it. I do like this red, though. Just look at the paint and the sun so nice i can't get over the size of this rear wing by the way just pictures don't do it justice and red match interior can't imagine those seats are very comfortable but assuming this is the supercar section here i8 gt3 rs gt2 rs yep 488 pista so one of these down in tampa black this is a red with white i think the other one we saw was black and white but wow <laughs> You guys starting it up by any chance? No. Uh, no, not till probably later tonight. No, nah, all right. Yeah, that's not one that's sitting idle. No, nah, exactly. No, I don't blame you. I had to ask, though. Yeah, it's uh, usually when it's time to go. Check out the side exit exhaust. Not even a side mirror. I believe LaFerrari Perta and LaFerrari, another 48. The size of those rotors. Let's just check this thing out. Look how low that side skirt is to the ground. And just how wide and how long this car is. These louvers here too, tinted. Tinted or wrapped headlights. Beat the Huracan. I got you. Nice. Oh, I may be wrong, but I'm just guessing those are some Paganis right there. And I can't wait till I take those covers off. So this is the eighth scent of that tier now. No, I love this color on a 720. It looks like a white, but has like a very light hint of blue on it, like a baby blue. Well, they didn't cover that. I want to see this be uncovered. Bugatti Chiron, W16 quad turbo, 1400 horse. It's taillights. Jeez, when they didn't cover this, I'll be sure I'll be here. Red NSX, Blue Gallardo. My buddy in Tampa has a blue guy out almost exactly like that. Wicked wrap on the Huracan. Check this thing out. It's like a metallic wrap. 
Orion Nebula. Wow. That's pretty nice. The yeah, iDynamics is GTR, Chevelle SS, and my favorite MP412C. Another GTR. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's nice. Nice car. on a GT. Oh. The turbo. What did this guy do to this thing? Manual transmission as well. GTs until I saw that they're uncovering the Paganis. Oh yeah the Skyline squad comes in now too. Purple color on this Pagani. There's like 11 of them here. I don't even know if that's all of them. Love what this guy did with these pop up right here. Is this Scram and everything? Car Guys New England. Things so sick. And what is that? Literally, my dream Lamborghini would be the Mercy Lago. SV, of course. This isn't the SV, but still. It's pretty cool though. The tarp off whatever it was over here. Is that the new speed tail? I can't tell. It's because I have no idea what's this, what this is. And I still don't. This thing is brand new. Wing. Oh, but check out the interior on this thing. Quilted leather everywhere. Fiber doors. Back of the seats. Look at the carbon fiber tub. After some research, it is called the Automobile Panin Farina. Now, how many in the world there are of this? This is the first one I've ever seen. Talk about this much, but they do have a P1 here as well. This is my first P1. No P1 GTR, but I do love P1, so I'm not going to complain. Here, parked right next to it is this. Once again, I don't know what this is. But you know it's good when people are paying attention to this car and not the Chiron, so let's check this thing out. Look at that interior. Only right hand drive as well, all those clusters and gauges. Yeah, that takes some videos and some photos of it. Gauges. This interior. Carbon fiber door. 5.8. Buck your seats. Big Wang. Matte black wraps, center lock wheels. Another MC12 Maserati. It's a Ferrari La Ferrari. I think the fourth one that's here. Look what showed off the BMW Z4. You know, for a BMW, it sounds pretty nice. What that car is right there. This is blocking. Is that another Conte? Oh, yeah. It is. It is. Beautiful candy red color. Focus on the new Gera. Check out the new Pagani just rolled in. Carrera GT? When did this thing come in? Come back to this later. work uh people are flogged into this thing now beat the event or two no no one's even paying attention to it dude once the pagani pulls up that's it that last pop made my ear ring quite a bit Because, like I said before, there was a Porsche Carrera GT that showed up. 
Yeah. And apparently, they just want to throw the demons here too. Just the flex. 840 horse out of the demons. Let's go check out that Kara GT. There it is. One of my favorite Porsches ever. Parked it right next to the Ford GT as well, the new one. Even through all the years, still managed to stay beautiful. Sunlock wheels, V10. You know what shit about this? It's so sick too. Yeah, there it is. Cracked windshield. That sucks. That interior. So nice. Oh, peep this chrome blue. By the way, I was wrong with a V8. They're still coming in. I'm exhausted. I've been up since 4.30 in the morning. Matt already left. I want to go meet and go get lunch. And head home. Two hour drive from here, so I feel longer than that in this thing, so let's go. I want to grab myself some food because I am literally starving. And the cars that come by here are just insane. I'm actually going to go grab my mic because I'm just using my phone right now. And go record some stuff. Matt is at Starbucks right across the street, so he's going to give me a call when he's ready. But I gotta check the weather, make sure it's not raining back at home or else I don't have to pull over on the highway. So let's go record some cars. Yeah, nothing special. So I wanna go back to the Jeep. I wanna go to that parking lot over there. Wait for Matt and head home. Because it's it's only 10.30, we're only there for three hours, which three hours is a long time for a car show to me, but I'm exhausted, so I wanna go home. Bad news, yeah, we're, <laughs> we are in, we are in the rain pretty good. Uh, I can't, ha, oh, this sucks. And we are back. We are finally home. It's actually 5 o'clock. I've actually been home for a couple hours already. But I have rest. I want to go out to eat. And then just enjoy the rest of the day. I mean, the beginning of my day was amazing. That was Like I said, that was the best car show I ever went to. I, I said Detail Garage was. And then I went to Tampa. Then that was the best car show. But this took it to another level. Multi-million dollar hypercars everywhere you looked. There was actually a video of a Dodge Challenger. I believe it was the Hellcat Red Eye or a 2017 Hellcat, whatever. The, uh, he was actually leaving the show and he almost crashed. That being said, that's gonna wrap it up. Make sure you guys go follow my Instagram, Peak Performance Photography. If you wanna see all the photos I took at that show, make sure you guys go follow it. I'll leave it right here. I'll leave the link in the description as well if you guys wanna go check it out. Because every single, oh, mostly every single car that was there is gonna be on that uh, Instagram page. So make sure you guys go check it out. But with that being said, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. And thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.